everyone, welcome to a new sewing video. I'm not feeling very well today, so I'm not gonna stay in front of the camera for very long. But this is my next project, and it's going back to my sort of original fairy tale roots. So this is gonna be more of a fairy tale dress, and this is the tunic I'm starting with. I'll show you close up in a second, but this is this really lovely, very silky fabric. It could be pure silk, or it might be a silk blend, but there's definitely some pure silk in this. It's so lovely and soft. It's also got these lovely little metallic dots here and there but they've also dulled a bit to a sort of mustardy yellow so I might cut those bits out where they've lost their silvery shimmer I don't know it adds a little bit of texture to the fabric so I might just leave it and this is some of the fabric I've gathered to go with it and I've got this, this pair of trousers in this lovely rich plum colour another pair of trousers also in a, a, a lovely and this is definitely pure silk and this brings out the darker tones in the roses in the print. Those are the only pieces I've got gathered around me at the moment, but this one does have lining, so that gives me an extra layer of fabric. And I'll go through some of my fabric scraps as well because I've got a lot building up in my pink and purple box. So I'll go through that and see if there's anything there I can use. So that's all I've got to get on with now, and I hope you enjoy watching the video. I like this scalloped detail around the neckline. So to avoid detracting from that and avoid losing it. I'm thinking actually of doing something a bit different this time and keeping the whole top half unembellished, just keeping that bit plain and then I might try a like a Laura Ashley style waistline here. Here's a close-up of these little metal dots. They're still shiny at the sides but a little bit yellow on top but I think that's just something I will have to live with. <laughs> Years to get the flavor, like. 
Well, I've nearly finished the dress. I'm gonna add a few more details, I think. I've also changed my mind on this piece here. I've been changing my mind backwards and forwards as to whether this color actually goes, and I've decided that no, it doesn't. And in fact, in this camera, it really does look like it clashes with this color. So that piece is going to come off. And instead, I have found this really beautiful pink chiffon scarf. I think that does match very nicely. So I'm going to replace it with that and add this a bit around some of the other areas of the dress as well. So that's what I'm going to do now. so pretty i have tried this on it does fit me and i have to say i do feel like a fairy princess in it so i hope whoever owns it one day uh, will also get to have that feeling because yeah it's quite a magical dress i really like it i, I know i always say that at the end of my sewing videos but it's always nerve-wracking halfway through you think oh no this one's gonna be the one that looks awful but actually it always works out fine in the end i added a little bit of chiffon down the sleeves and I've added some strands of matching fabric, which I've let flutter in some places down at, from the waistline. Because I fiddled around a bit less with the top half, I really focused on filling this skirt full of lots of layers. And it's still actually really lightweight because they're all thin layers of silk and chiffon and really floaty fabrics. It really makes you just feel like you're, you're about to fly away. <laughs> So as per usual, this will end up in my Etsy shop. I will do a photo shoot probably with me wearing this one as it fits me. Look out on my Threads of a Fairy Tale Instagram account because I do add photos from the photo shoots on there. I think that's all. I just want to say thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if so, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please hit subscribe. Please click on my face, which I think is going to be in one of these corners. And I'll see you again next time. Bye.